we went to our first ever Pokemon pre-release tournament. And guess what, guys? I won. And today we're going to show you guys all the prize cards that we got. And we're going to talk about our deck. My name is G. And I'm B. And let's open this now. These are all the prizes that we got, plus these two packs back here. You know, we're gonna make this a little bit of a trainer battle, so Fight. the one with the best pulls is gonna open up those two back there. Uh, we had a great time at the pre-release. This was our first time doing it. Yes. Um, let's see here. I'll, I'll jump into the opening. I'm gonna talk ahead, about the- Go ahead and start opening. I'm gonna talk to you guys about the deck that I played. So when it comes to a pre-release tournament, you're playing with 40 cards as opposed to the usual 60. Uh, you're not limited to how many Pokemon you can have. You can have more than four of the same Pokemon. Of the same card, actually. Of the actually. same card, actually. Yeah, it can even be the same card. Uh, and only one a spec card. Only one a spec card. So oh, we're talking about oh a spec. Gosh. Got the Grand Tree. The Stadium. Yeah, this is the card a lot of people yes. want. It is good for pulling a whole bunch of evolution cards. Everybody at the tournament was talking about Grand Tree being one of their chase cards, guys. So we just pulled it right now. First card. First spec magic. Um, but the deck that I played um, that got me to first place um, was surprisingly a Buffalant and a Fan Rotom deck mixed with a Driftbloom and Driftblim deck. Um, no. You know, I really like these new energies with this like kind of like cracked ice pattern. Yes. They're awesome. You know what, that Buffalant, um, I actually played against G in the tournament. Yes. Uh, the Buffalant was just unfair. Yeah, so what Buffalant does is that as long as you have at least one other Buffalant in play, all of your basic Pokemon take 60 less damage from attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. The effect of Curly Wall does not stack. Uh, so you're taking Ooh, 60 damage less than your usual damage if your opponent uh, attacks one of your colorless Pokemon. It okay. has to be colorless, hence why Fan Yeah, it has to be colorless and basic. All right, guys, this is our first time ever opening up one of these Play Pokemon prize packs. Um, actually, ever, period. Ever, I've never period, opened up one of these. Because we've never attended a tournament um, before. Which is really cool, because all of them should have this Play Pokemon stamp on yes. here. And there's only six additional cards in here as and opposed to And that is Series ten. 5, guys, Series 5. Series 5 is supposed to have Scarlet and Violet. It's supposed to have cards that we're seeing today. Uh, All right. With that little stamp. Here we go. So we got the Nest Ball, Mela, Roaring Moon. Okay, okay not the E. <gasps> oh, nice. more Peco Hollow. And you know what? They have that old classic hollow pattern on it. Oh, and oh, a Buddy Buddy, buddy, buddy Poffin. Poffin. You know, this this card sees a lot of a play. A lot of play, guys. All right, there we go. Okay, so I only got one hit out of all those packs. I got the Grand Tree, um, which I am happy about because it's the A spec. Now, while G was playing the Buffalant decks, I was playing the Crabominable deck with the Kofu Supporter. So the Crabominal, he has a Haymaker move, which deals 250 points of damage, which in a pre-release is major. You can knock out most Pokemon. Ooh, like, see, we'll just knock out Melmetal in one hit. So, <laughs> right. um, and then with the Kofu making its moves cheaper, it, it was a great combo. Unfortunately, it only got me to like 13th place because uh, sometimes I didn't get the good draws and it's hard to find all of your pull cards in the pre-release format. But all right, Reverse Hollow Ponytail and a Raging Bolt. Ooh. Ooh. All right, here we go. You now this is an packs. early look at Stellar Crown as well, guys, since Stellar Crown has not been released as of yep. this video. It's coming out in yes. about a week, couple more days, but you know, we're finally opening some stuff up a little bit early. Yeah, first time ever that too. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Tornadoes, <laughs> Swalla, oh! oh! Yes. Dodgebun EX, full art. Oh my god, this you, is so cute. You know something I really like about the full arts in Scarlet and Violet is their background. Because it oh. looks just like the game when you feed your Pokemon a sandwich. That is true, it gets all like very yes, uh, yes. Very cute, very yeah, like, kawaii. Yeah, it gets all like this. It's very kawaii. Ding. You know, you get the glitter sound in the background. Yeah, and their eyes glow. Yeah. The game, which is funny. Okay. Exactly. And an energy. Okay, guys, we're going to have to sleeve this one up. All right. Um, I'm going to open the Price Pack Series 4. It should be a little bit different. Probably should have the early Scarlet and Violet cards, like Meowskareta and uh, the other new Pokemon from the uh, early set. 
Okay. Oh, oh I don't know. I don't know. That is an awesome hole right no, that there. That is hollow. That is it. Yeah, it's yep, a hollow. Oh, check this out. A jet energy as well. Yeah, because it gives you like the two hollows. Jet energy is also a uh, staple in my deck that got me the win at the tournament, guys, because it is it is a very cool card. It says, as long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides a uh, colorless energy. When you attach this card from your hand to one of your bench Pokemon, switch that Pokemon with your active Pokemon. So it switches your yeah, Pokemon so that is do, like, doing really bad. It's a switch and an energy. Okay, yes. so you know what? We, we tied on our polls here. So do you want to open up the Stellar Crown Pack or do you want to open up the Prize Pack? We'll open the Prize Pack last. So go ahead and open Stellar Crown uh, before it's even out. <laughs> All right, cool. so I'm going to open up the, our last Last Stellar Crown Pack. I'm super excited. Now, guys, another card that was a staple in my deck was Artizone. Artizone as a stadium, which allows Fan Rotom to attack. Um, and it also searches your deck for a basic Pokemon that does not have a rule box. So it goes well with uh, Buffon. Or, and the Fan Rotom, because you can yes. just skip four Pokemon Ooh, in one yeah. turn. Ladian was a good one in mine because of that free retreat. And it has a boss's orders big mix into its abilities. Yeah. And another card that's really good on my deck was Colrus Tenacity, which searches the deck for a stadium card and an energy card, which pairs well with my Artizone, which is the one that I needed so I can attack the Fan Rotom on my first turn. There if go. I go second. Yeah, yeah. And it, it this deck, you want to go second, guys. Definitely. Okay. All right, open up that prize pack. Here we go. Let's see what prize we get. Pack. So awesome to get some cards with these play Pokemon uh, logo stamps on them. Our first time ever. I'm absolutely loving this. I know, me too. Okay, here we go. Mela, Future Booster Energy Capsule. Crowd on. Crowd on. Oh, and a Cypher Maniac's Coat Breaking Future. Uh, oh, and Moonlit Hill. I played this in my other Poison deck. Nice. All right. Very nice. All right, guys. We had a great time at this yes. pre-release. Uh, we recommend everyone check them out. You get a earlier look at the cards, and you might win some prizes. And you get to meet lots of really cool people. We had lots of questions because it was our first time, so we just want to thank you guys who helped us who uh, we played with, against with. It was so much fun. Um, and for those of you watching who want to know about more about my deck that won the tournament, uh, let me know. Uh, ask me in the comments if you guys would like to see my deck on the description. We can add it and we can do so. Definitely. Yeah. And uh, the next time you're now to your pre-release, make sure you like this video, leave a comment, share, and we'll catch you on the next one. Deuces.